Today we're going to talk about bass strings. So if you're asking yourself, what is a nylon string, a nylon wound string? Well, imagine you take a core wire, this pencil will represent that, and you wrap that wire with nylon ribbon. And the nylon ribbon doesn't look much different than this electrical tape. So what they do is they take this ribbon and they wrap it, and we'll start, let's say here at the bottom. And they wrap it at an angle and they go ahead and wrap the entire core wire with this nylon ribbon. And it gives it a different feel. Now, however, why do I recommend the Diodario strings? Well, for a specific reason. If you look at this ribbon, you'll see an issue, that there's this overlay. Well, what Diodario did is they developed a machine that allows them to wrap this nylon wire so that every wrap seems perfectly on top of the last one. Now, I can't really demonstrate that, but you get the idea. In fact, it would look, it's one continual wrap, but you can see they would seam it right perfectly on there, making no, no need to wrap, no need to dip it in lacquer or do anything else. So you get a perfect cloth feeling uh, string. So that is unique. That is not what you can get if you buy a lot of the other uh, nylon tape wound strings. And if you tried nylon tape wound strings, you still have not tried these types. Trust me, this is a very unique thing. Now I heard that there's a couple other string companies that have something like it. I have not tried that, but this is what I'm going to try today. This Stuham Urge Bass that I currently have 45 to 105 wound round strings on them, playing just a Fender Rumble 25. This is a $99 Fender bass amp. Um, there's nothing special going on. I have the EQ all set flat, and the bass is pretty much set flat as well. And I'm going to go ahead and play some stuff, and then we'll do some comparisons on the tape wound strings and what they are. So let's first play a little something. <laughs> slapping technique like Now some of you are going to ask how are these different than just normal flat wound strings if you're familiar with flat wound strings well flat wound strings work the same way they use a metal ribbon wrapped around the core string and they do still have that kind of smooth sound, but not the same texture. The uh, nylon strings give you this kind of... There's a really mellowness to them, but there's also this ability to pull the bright tones out of them as well. In fact, I find they're a little bit in the sweet spot of where flat wound strings can be, where they give you the warmth, but also a little bit more snap. You really cannot snap on a flat wound string. It's not very practical, mostly because one of the downfalls of a normal flat wound string on a bass is that when you try to bend it, it won't bend because <laughs> the ribbons are kind of tight on each other and there's no real flex in there. But with nylon, you get the best of both worlds. You get a kind of upright, uh, fretless kind of... But also you get the ability to snap and dig in a little bit, which is nice too. If you're a guitar player and you're doing direct recording, I highly recommend these strings to put on your bass. Um, they will really sound good in the mix. They do everything that you want the bass guitar to do, especially if you don't have a very expensive bass or a very expensive preamp to, to kind of warm or make the bass sound right. Sometimes the downfall of a bass that just doesn't have the mojo is that you have to drive the low end so much that it's just boomy and not clear. And this will give you more of that 
just that warm note. That's why I'm just letting it ring while we talk. That note sounds really nice. So that's something to consider. As always, I want to thank you for spending some time with me today. And if you've tried these strings or strings like this, tell me what you think in the comments. Did you have a good experience or a bad experience? I'm always curious. Overwhelmingly, I've had a good experience with this brand and this type of strings over the few years uh, that they've been out. But I'm always interested to see somebody else's perspective. Until next time, know your gear. Don't do this do ham on the do ham base. You're saying they'll they'll make fun of me. Mm -hmm.